now the basic way to do a result, to do a stock is uh, is this way vegetable one you start with cold water now mm -hmm. you put, you wash your your vegetables very well i, li I don't even like to peel the uh, the carrots, carrots but you wash it really well okay? okay and the celery and onion now the celery i suggest to get rid of the leaves why is that Michele? sometimes too many leaves in the stock might get a little bit bitter but Okay. But they just a little suggestive. It's very okay. hard to taste. You've and got to extract these little technical things from because he won't tell us otherwise. No, of course I'll tell you. Mm. Now, so you start with cold water, mm -hmm. all the vegetables at once, and you bring it to boil for 45 minutes. Okay. I suggest you to cut in pieces so it will take less time. Salt it, season it what, upon boiling. A little bit of salt, okay. yeah. Um, and then and then that's your stock. In 45 minutes, you've got to be, or 44 that minutes. All? Yeah, that's, that's all it takes. Now, simple. like this, you're going to have a really clear stock. Okay. If you want more flavor, all you have to do is actually fry off your vegetables first with a little bit of oil, mm, and then you add okay. the cold water after. Okay. 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 But by doing that, you lose the color. It's, okay. It won't be a clear stock, but okay. it will be a lot of uh, more, more flavors and stock. Fl the fish one this is a little bit tricky. Now, you start. What you have to do with the fish is start cold again. So you've mm -hmm. got everything cool. You you put all the ingredients at once. Wash the fish bones. Okay. And remember, fish bones in the market, you should get it for free anyway, because you're paying when you buy the fillet, so they should give you the bones. Um. Ask, ask for the bones, because really, there's no point of you buying beautiful prawns, beautiful seafood, and then you go True. home, scallops, then you go home, you don't have a fish stock, and uh, that's They just throw all... them away anyway, so it yeah, shouldn't be a drama. that's all the flavor is. But the thing is, after half an we hour... We don't ask friendly fishmongers out there, listen to us. <laughs> <laughs> be careful, eh? Yes. <laughs> What I'm saying, after half an hour maximum of boiling, yes. you should take out the bones, of, the fish bones, okay? If the stock is still, uh, you, you you're not happy with the flavor, let yes. it boil it, but get rid of all the bones because the bones tend to get a really bitter flavor to, to your stock. Michele, what about uh, eyes and whatever's inside that little head? Uh, it's for a stock, so it's okay. Okay, okay. And uh, but, Like it should be left in the stock, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yes. just half an hour, get rid of the bones. Okay. If you're not happy with the flavor, just okay. reduce it down. Okay. But otherwise it gets really bitter. Okay. Now, chicken stock, and again, everything cold, yes. put all at once, and uh, just boil it up. You boil it for 45 minutes or uh, an hour, it's a matter of tasting it. And okay. this, you can leave the bones as long as you want. Yes. Now, there's some people that like to have the bones, the actual the vegetables when the stock start to boil because right. they think they take away too much flavor from the chicken. Yes. Uh, I can't see any difference, so okay. I won't tell you to do it. So what's the king of the risotto uh, in Italy? Ma as far as I know. Talking it. about Zafferaro. Anytime you do a rice, yes. always remember the risotto. You should be able to taste the risotto. Now, don't don't put so many ingredients that it becomes like uh, yes. uh, saffron with risotto yes. or you know seafood with risotto. Risotto should be the main flavor of the dish. Absolutely. But I thought that we tend we you know tend to exaggerate sometimes to look good. Mm. Risotto. When you got a tough boss, you know they ask you for different specials every day, so you put something extra every day. At the end, it becomes. If you just like do it one at a time, you don't have to listen to me. <laughs> what I was going to say at home, yes. just a really, a really simple suggestion. When you use your chopping board, you should use. A, I actually came up with this idea. This was my idea. Okay, this stuff here, because if it works for the carpet, it works for the chopping board too. Otherwise, <laughs> wet uh, tea towels. I think it's very important because sometimes you're chopping and then you see everything, all the chopping board is moving. And then moving. this will hang. We'll remember poor Mikel is saying that, although that's a burn, but it could have been a yeah, chop. Yeah, so. I'll try to keep it really okay. all right. enough, mate. And uh, so, yeah, now we're going to use this beautiful, the green one today. because Fury, fantastic products. And look at that, they're all colour coordinated. Okay. So that you can, this one, what's this one for? For vegetables. Vegetables. Yes, <laughs> Okay. Because the funny thing, when the headset came, uh, came along and said yes. you have to use colourful um, boards, they didn't realise that the chef forget the wall, which one they use, so, so they it's, all, it's getting worse than before, you know yes, what I mean? quite. <laughs> now also, we're going to do the saffron, so we're going to do risotto milanese. Mm -hmm. um, Michele, I was going to ask you, now, the risotto in Milan, they usually use saffron powder as opposed to the threads, is that correct? Yes, yes. And, and the powder uh, is less expensive? Um, it depends on which brand. Some brands actually charge you more because they say there's an extra, there's an extra uh, charging step. processing. Yeah, yes. but a lot of companies use the powder with the, with the sort of leftover, so they charge you less. So ah, it's a little so bit the quality is not as good. Yeah, you just don't want the strong 
uh, colour, you actually want the flavour yeah. of And of also red. Saffron. Now, there's two kinds of saffron. I yes. think this one is probably one of the best that I ever used is saffron. Yes. And is, is, believe it or not, I didn't know that Greece was a big producer, but it is of saffron. Now, what about the uh, the uh, saffron that's produced in Emilia Bruzzi, which is in the central part of Italy? That's yeah, uh, quite a, well there's known a, as there's well. a little production just for, for Italy. What about the cost, Michele? I suppose this is an interesting point for viewers because uh, saffron is once again the king of uh, spices, they, they call yes, it. Yes, it's the most expensive ingredient in your kitchen. Yes. And, um, but, and again, you also have to understand that probably this one will make enough for four people, this, uh, this stuff here. Yes. But it's very expensive. My mother would have stretched it out to a dozen people, actually. <laughs> but the secret <laughs> is what you do when you use saffron overnight put it in cold water or what i did you can see a little bit of effect over the chicken stock yes warm chicken stock put yes. a, a pinch of this much of saffron in there overnight it will get all Look the color at that. you see the color that comes it's out fantastic because there's two things you can get out of, uh, of saffron you can get the color and the flavor yes. okay now are we looking for both in making yes, yes. And in fact there's some people that actually like to add the threads at the end on top of the yes. risotto yes and uh, but uh, but to have the color you have to soak your your okay. saffron with okay it. And normally into a warm liquid? Yes, yes all okay. warm. Okay. And it's really nice to actually soak it in milk and do some nice ice cream too. That's really mm, nice. Yes, that is nouveau really cuisine, nice. isn't it? And Italian also, stuff. I mean, in Italy, we've got, a, we've got a liquor made out of saffron. Did you know that? No? A what? Strega. That's how they oh, make strega. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yes, you're right, absolutely. Now, I'm going to show uh, everyone the basic. The risotto is done with, uh, I'm just talking general here, okay? So we're doing uh, this risotto. It's with, uh, with onions. Now, originally it's with butter, but I'll suggest we use oil, mm. okay? Have to butter, support the farmers. Butter tend, tend to burn a little bit quicker. So okay. when you fry the onions, it might burn. So you can okay. even add half each. Okay. And uh, basically, that's, that's how it's done. Now, if you're going to have a, a seafood risotto, of course, you're going to use uh, a bit of garlic and maybe leave the onions out, okay? Yes. So okay. you have to sort of, it depends what, what you're going to do. Okay. Now, the, another thing, we show, I'm going to show you how to cut an onion very easy without crying. First of all, you need a sharp knife. How do you not cry? You have to breathe with your mouth, not with your nose. Did you know um, that? No, I didn't know that. Really? Every, every time I say this, I start crying, so I won't say. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you know, the, I think the secret is on, on the onions is you shouldn't be taking too long to cut the onions, okay? Mm. You try to make it really quick. Now, okay. you do a really thin one. And the viewers at home can do this slowly if you don't have got the knack. Yeah. Cause... I won't look at the camera, otherwise I'll cut myself. <laughs> Okay. Look at that. Always keep Look this that. to hold the onion. Yes. That's, very, very That's the core. Because if you slice up the core, it's all going to come apart, isn't it? Now, the secret is now is you grab your onion and then you go like this. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. And then you do another one here. Okay. Now, basically. So, are you looking for a fine. Uh, finely cut onion? Yeah, because you should actually cook it off properly. Okay. And really, this is your chopped onions without okay. doing, without staying there and chopping it yeah, up. Absolutely. Okay. That's and the uh, difference because probably people at home would just chop, 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 and then they go along, whereas you're cutting into it. So there is a little bit of an art in that as well. So yeah. please be careful. 